welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a pink glittery half cut crease um, to match my pink birthday hair so first I'm taking Venetian Red from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just smoking this out and using a fluffy brush to really smoke out the color then I'm taking a smaller crease brush and I'm taking Cypress Umber which is a darker brown shade and I'm just putting it in my crease to add some definition and some depth and some drama to the look and then I just take a fluffier brush and just blur out the edges blend them out in circular motions then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution concealer and I am just making a half cut crease with a flat brush and just going over that to and I'm using C white which is the lightest shade this is so that the color that I place on top of it will be super pigmented and I also set the concealer so it won't move and then I'm taking the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette y'all know I love this palette so yeah get used to it and then I am just taking that pink shimmer shade and I sprayed my brush spraying the brush will make the shade be more pigmented then I'm taking the NYX glitter glue and placing it on top of that pink shimmer shade I just placed the pink shimmer shade down so it could be a base uh, for this glint or it's the name changed to Chrissy Cindy Cosmetics I'm taking this beautiful glitter it is so pretty and their glitters are super affordable so I will link that in the description box below they have really amazing glitters and I'm just putting that on my half cut crease everywhere that I put the glue and I forgot the name of the glitter and I'm back to using the Maybelline Big Shots mascara and um, I'm just prepping my eyelashes then I'm going back in with that cypress umber shade and I'm just really blending it in and just putting the color that I lost back into my eyelid and then I just blended it out added some more red at the end just so it can have like a soft transition between the glitter and the actual shade and I use a fluffy brush to do that as well let's get into these brows though you guys these are my natural brows i did not fill them in with any product or anything like that i no longer fill in my brows all i do now is just use a clear brow gel that's it no color added and just to set them in place and then i conceal the bottom half but that's it i do not fill them in these are my natural brow hairs no product added and I'm so obsessed I'm so in love I'm so happy I no longer have to do brows but I love this pink makeup and this pink hair Gemini's where you at I've been wanting to go pink for so long for my birthday so I'm so happy and then I'm taking Fenty Beauty setting powder and I actually recolored my hair after this it needed another color um, job because I didn't get all the pink and I was in a rush when I did it so yeah but basically I'm just setting it, that concealer in place I'm oily skin Rudy's chicken skin so yeah I have to really set my makeup and you want to make sure it's like a even surface when you're setting your makeup so I try to grab as much as possible and I just um, go over the parts that get oily which is usually my t-zone and then I try to get it right in between the creases of my nose make sure that you get your makeup to cover the creases by your nose so it's not looking crazy and now I'm just dusting away that powder and just you know getting ready What's on y'all's music playlist when y'all are doing y'all makeup? Like, what kind of music do y'all listen to? I listen to trap music while I <laughs> um, get ready while I do my makeup. I love trap music. 
and usually it's young boy but i can't really listen to too much young boy because i get so lit and i'll stop doing my makeup and i'll be like dancing and so yeah i'm just dusting away that powder because we want the makeup to stay in place all day and now i'm taking the beauty beauty bronzer i love this bronzer so much i am an invasion gal and i'm just bronzing the hell out of my face so I can look super tan and then I'm just going to spray my face to prep for highlight per use and I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Ambreezy highlighter I love this highlighter so much I love Ambreezy like she's my makeup mom and she's a Gemini Gemini's are the best duh like, I love this highlighter, it's so bomb, and my highlight can be seen from a mile away, that's what you want, and this makeup is fire, a typical, you know, everyday makeup look, <laughs> and my birthday nails was lit, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed, like, with my birthday nails, they were so cute, and I hate that my camera does this crazy lighting, but look, what's not blended, sweetie? was not blended sweetie yeah but the lighting is crazy i'm gonna get a new camera really soon so yeah because it keeps like sometimes it does its bad lighting it switches the lighting so my makeup looks a little harsh but that's not really how it looks in real life um it's y'all can see that it really is blended and i'm just highlighting my eyebrow bone never forget to highlight your eyebrow bone and look at that so cute I'm obsessed with this pink makeup I love pink makeup I am so obsessed with how this look came out so give me a thumbs up if you love pink makeup and if you love this pink birthday extra glam then I'm taking oh my gosh blush Amber and Rose this is the first blush that I bought from MAC but well, the first blush ever that I bought is by MAC. It's called Amber and Rose. And I forgot how beautiful this blush is. Y'all know I pack on um, blush. Blush is like my favorite thing. It's like my jam right now. So, yeah, I just pack on um, more blush. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, blush. Uh, it's just so refreshing. I love blush. Let's talk about it. Like, go get you some blush. Then I'm taking the Big Shot Mascara. After I put those same colors on my lower lash line, I just used that brown and that Venetian red on my lower lash line. And same look combo always. I'm going to switch it up, I promise y'all. Like, I'm going to switch it up soon. Then I'm just lighting my lips. And then I'm just going to take Max Lip Glass and Oyster Girl, as always. And then Beauty Supply House Lip Gloss. Y'all already know. Like, this look turned out so cute so let me know what else y'all want to see and don't forget to like comment share subscribe tell your mama tell your aunties tell your cousins your homegirls all that like subscribe and yes uh, give me some comments leave some pink comments below if you love this makeup and thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting me and i hope you love this look do not forget to set your makeup i don't ever show it but i always set my makeup i use mario Badesco before and after my makeup and before my highlight and then to lock it all in place i use urban decay d slick um that's really good if you got oily skin and yeah leave me some pink comments below let me know and i thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye